We are deep in Earl Hal's estate, looking to maybe stick a knife in his back and go rescue the queen at the same time. You know, two birds, one stone. Come on now, load quicker. Bunch of things to kill down here. Uh, where are they? Oh shit! <laughs> Missed. Yeah. I should just move up and melee these things. E. Okay. Oh, can't get through there, can I? None of these guys had a key, so I'm gonna have to go the long way. Why would Hal be in this place anyway? Although, as mentioned earlier in the last episode, that Turn Logan may be willing to sacrifice his own daughter for political reasons to gain his own power. I kind of doubt it. It was mentioned by. It was mentioned by. Uh, by. Oh, jeez, what was his name? Eamon. That the son of a bitch. Ah, oh, it's a lot of people. It was mentioned by Hal earlier in the uh, well. last episode that if Logan had in fact done what we know he did, betrayed the king and did all that stuff, the only reason why he would have done it was for the good of Ferelden. Now, he may have legitimately believed that Callan was a danger to Ferelden as king. And in fact, a lot of that. Get me here? Get me out of here! Was this supposed to be a lesson? Did my father think it funny to leave me for so long before sending you? Unless your father's Earl Eamon, he didn't send me. You move in August company, stranger. I am Oswin, son of Ban Sigard. Of the Dragon's Peak Bannon. If you aren't one of our soldiers, pray tell me, who should I be thanking for my rescue? I am Bruce, here for the rightly rightful king, Alistair. Marrick's bastard. Then I need not question why you're here, for your friend's claim to the throne is the greatest threat to Loghain's regime. You have my heartfelt gratitude. And I assume the gratitude of the entire Dragon's Peak Bannon. If my father sent no one after me, I can only assume that he does not yet know the true colors of the snakes he is allied with. But if you talk to him, I'm certain he would offer you any reward you might ask. Damn straight. <laughs> Will your father side against Loghain at the lands meet? Then there is a lands meet after all. How said the Isle of Rickliffe was dead and the lands meet called off? I swear, if there be any forum to speak out against Loghain, my father will be there. Now, please, I must try to get to him. I cannot see the last of this place too soon. Son of a bitch just disappeared. New quest, Tortured Noble. Oh, look at that. These people didn't do too well. Anyway, Loghain did kill, did cause the death of King Merrick. And uh, he, the way it seemed to be, and for very legitimate reasons, Loghain believed Merrick to be an incompetent retard who was leading the, who would have led Ferelden to ruin. Because, well, let's face it, he wasn't that. Which one of these is my destination? Oh, I can go in here and do some As mini guns. But being willing to kill the king, I well, I mean, he was willing to kill the king, so it seems like he's obviously got some pretty significant um, balls there to go and be doing something like that. But what would he gain, really, by killing the queen? Because she's already supporting him, and even if there are some questions to that support, 
She did essentially give him control of the military. They said to retreat. The horn sounded and we turned, and then the screams. We rode and they screamed and screamed and... <sighs> what do you mean, retreat? Were you with Askegar? Askegar? Mother, can you smell the blood? They said it was only Darkspawn. But we ate them too. They died, and we left them in the swamp. The witch, the witch. He's obviously mad. I don't think you'll get anything more out of him. I'll put him out of his misery. The light, mother, you brought the light. Ah! Well, that seemed unfortunate, but he's dead. Now, there is some question of whether the Queen will continue to support him, because, well, she did have doubts over what he said was true and all that about how the King died. And if it did turn out that, if she did come to the knowledge that the King was killed by Loghain the way he did, she may take action against anyway. him. But, you know, at the moment, at least, he does still have control over the things that he feels like he needs to have control over. It is well, begun. well, Bryce Kooslin's little boy, all grown up and still trying to fit into Daddy's armor. I never thought you'd be fool enough to turn up here. <laughs> and then, I never thought you'd live either. Glad to disappoint you. It won't be the last time. Is this about your family? Still? But I have done so much more than wipe your name from Ferelden memory. And what's left? A fool husk of a son, likely to end his days under a rock in the deep roads. Even the Wardens are gone. You're the last of nothing. This is pointless. You've lost. I know your game. No shadows, no lies. Just you and me. There it is, right there. That damned look in the eye that marked every Kooslin success that held me back. It would appear that you have made something of yourself after all. Your father would be proud. I, on the other hand, want you dead more than ever. More enemy. Okay, yeah, boss battle time. Let's kill this some bitch. A human. Make a spit on you. I deserved more. Now you're dead. How do you like that shit? Nice axe. It's mine now. I got the key, don't I? But I need the... I guess I needed to kill the mage. Let's see what else we have down here. Must be something worth taking. Very well. Hey! People! Hmm. Who's there? Stay away. You can't do this to me. I'll have you all flayed. I'm the Arl of Denerim. Arl something died at Astagar. Who are you? 
I'm Vaughn Kendall's, heir to the Arling of Denerim, it's true. Too many of our troops were lost at Ostagar. When the riots started, Howe came with men to reinforce the garrison here. Or that's what he claimed. As soon as I let him into the palace, he threw me in here. One more victim of the Elven Uprising, he said. Let me out of here. I'll do anything. What caused the Elves to rebel? You know how Elves are. Every now and then they start to think they're people. And you have to put them back in their proper place. Ah, this guy's a douche. <laughs> Landsman has been called. I need your voice. Of course. Anything. Just let me out. Very well. You can go. I swear you won't regret this. Yeah, Sir Reverend doesn't like the fact that I let him go, despite obviously being an anti-elf individual. But I needed some people to support me politically, so. Bride of the Maker, have mercy on me. I'll stand up. Is that you, little sister? No, I, I don't know you, do I? Are you real? What the hell are they doing to these guys to make them all fucked up in the head? Who are you? I, uh, I'm Erminric, Knight Lieutenant of the Denerim Chantry. You aren't one of the Tern's men? He sounds like he's in Lyrium withdrawal. He's got all the signs, confusion, weepiness. He probably doesn't even know what he's saying. If the Grand Cleric knew he were in here, she'd be spitting hot coals. Nobles don't have authority over Templars. I... Uh, I failed in my duties, Maker. Forgive me. I failed, and there's no telling what he's done. You're a Templar. Alf Stanner is a, a far better man than I would have been, but I... I don't remember how I came to be here. The Malefica. He had turned blood magic upon Templars and Circle Mages to escape from his tower. Near Redcliffe, I cornered him, but the Ten's men took him from me and brought me here. This Malefica was his name Jowen. Yes. He destroyed his phylactery. We were spread out, trying to find him. I was alone. I. You are real, aren't you? My dreams are so strange now. Please, if you're not a dream, help me. What do you want me to do? Give this ring to my sister, Alstana. Tell her. Tell her I'm sorry. Please, ask her to pray for me. All right. Um, the more and more we see, the more and more horrible the kind of crap that they've been doing is becoming. It's becoming obvious. Now we knew that he had. We knew that Eamon and all of them had gone and tried to kill. Tried to kill Al Eamon by having Zhao and the Blood Mage go and poison him. But now we got a little bit of a story as to how that event came to be. Very well. <laughs> oh shit. Hey, you don't <laughs> Sons of bitches be dead. There's a lot of guards here though. I'm murdering ahead. people left and right. <laughs> okay, I've made it pretty far. I'm gonna bring an episode to the end here at around the 15 minute mark, so uh, I can keep the next part all contained in one episode, so, boom!